If there is something that you don't understand, don't you worry. Don't even think about it. Just listen. All your questions will be answered. Everything will be repeated from a different point of view until suddenly it will make click in you sooner or later. And then you will understand. But if you try now, desperately, having heard of something, maybe now switch off the this uh, video and then say, what did he mean by that? Mm. He said, divine essence. He said, eternal means no beginning, no end. If you started like that, you block yourself from the truth. Just listen as I listened to the great Johan. And now in my imperfect way, try to <laughs> repeat that. But in the Book of Light, handwritten, about 5,000 pages, you can read everything. Allreligionsunited.com Everything will be explained over and over and over again. So imagine, there is like in a circle a point appearing, or like in a womb, in a cosmic womb. A man made of God a man. If anything, God is a woman. If anything, God is a cosmic womb. You want to go further, then you have to do it empirically. You have to experience God in yourself and this is what these, this way to God is enabling you. Not just theory. That would be dissatisfying. So then, at the reawakening of all universal life, we call it the supermonad, falls, dives into matter. And by doing so, the point becomes a Diameter, let's say. And then across. The deeper it falls. Dear friends, and this is where we are now in our, and I use a term now that will be new for you, in a root race. When that happens, but when that happens, we're now in the fourth, fifth root race. But when that happens, when the cross appears, we are a race prior to that. Are you confused? If you're not confused nowadays, you're not thinking right. So just listen to that and see that we all are crucified into material world. And that is the true meaning of the cross. Stand up, spread your arms. And you will see you are the cross. Everybody is in that cross. Crucified. Out of necessity. In order to have as a spirit friction with matter. And in order to overcome life after life the attachment to matter. And then finally be the God that you are. Glory to the book of light. And when you see that that cross is rotating you have... A manifestation of the swastika later so badly misused and abused in a th so-called third reich but this swastika or chakra cosmic chakra is thousands and billions of years old that symbol nothing to do with its later abuse and dear friends the time has come to tell you there was once one knowledge one language. And that one knowledge guaranteed peace on earth. Peace on earth. When mankind was in a very divine state. But then that knowledge, that one uniting knowledge, split into the religions of today. Out of necessity. Because mankind fell into matter. And now is ready to reappear and since we are on the ascending arc back to God, the time has come to change us from believers into knowers. But those millions and billions of years who brought us into the existence of believer are very powerful. And so it's difficult for most of you, of course, to change that way of thought. 
into a complete different direction by changing from believer into knower. This time of believing was necessary. If this one knowledge would not have spread into the many religions of today who are fighting against each other, I know, they are fighting against each other. If there would have been no religion, there would be no more mankind right now. It is that bad and worse. So religion was good. Now the time has come to rethink the, difficult and the difficulty in that is as if you are on a huge boat, hundred thousands of tons, and it floats, it drives full speed in one direction. Now the captain says, stop it, and all machines back, you know. And yet, there will be no full stop. This huge boat will drive in one direction miles and miles until coming to a final stop and until then being able to go in a different direction. This is just an example. An example should not be led too far, but that much. And so if you experience in yourself this problem, you can compare yourself to that huge boat. You were thinking in one direction. Now the time has come. If you wish so, we are not. Cult. We are no cult. We are no sect. No nothing like that. If you feel that is too much for you, leave it. Let it go. Let it go. Don't do it. You know. So this is just for a few. I agree, but we must begin somewhere, and sometimes, like the captain of that boat began to say, I want to stop the boat. Or he wants to change the direction. We have not now in the religions terms like Jehovah and all that. We have secret teachings. We have the Kabbalah and all that. And it's all true if they would understand the true translation of those terms. It starts with the misunderstanding of the term Elohim, which is Hebrew plural, not singular. Not one God, gods. And suddenly it makes sense. Because at the reawakening of the universe, the supermonad manifests out of non-being, you could say, of non-being into being. The reason why we can't say who God is, or rather, why we should say who God is not, is, I said that God is beyond the, the, the level or world of appearances, of transient appearances. So, if I would say what God is, I would have to use terms and words from the world of appearances, from that transient world, and nothing would fit. It would be never a correct answer. So, the correct answer is beyond the world of appearances. You must experience God. And you can only do that by detachment. Not by suppressing or by denying. No, no, by detachment from the Attachment to the world of appearances. This is the task, dear friend. And then it is not only theory. Then it will be practically, empirically experienced. Are we atheists? Are you aware of the fact that the first people who were called atheists were Christians? This is where the term atheist was applied. To Christians. Do you know why? Because Christians, uh, the Greek said to Christians, you are against our gods. The Christians called their gods theoi, or theo, theos, theos, God. A means not, or means against. So a theoi means against gods. 
So the Christians, the, the Christians were called by the Greek atheoi or atheists. But right there you see how we have to rethink in order to understand. Book of Light teaches everything is in appearance, is matter in action. So we are atheists in the, in the sense that we say the spirit falls into matter. Yes. But there is more than the material side. There's the other side. And we unite also science by telling them, you are not all wrong. Your teaching is correct concerning the material side. But you know most to nothing about why matter is moving, why the earth is still rotating, why the universe is still there, why the sun is not a ball in combustion. If so, it would have been burned out long ago. You see that I'm giving now just hints, little hints. And you will see how the puzzle comes together. And how you only can know and become God if you detach from what God is not. We Buddhists, true Buddhists, not the distorted teaching of Mr. Lama. See, we are Buddhists, we are Muslims, we are Christians, we are Jews, we are Kabbalah. Name a religion, we are it. But its core, its uniting core. If that union under one scripture, the Book of Light, without taking away the individuality of the different religion, if that one union would not be there, they would kill each other for eternity. So what we do is, we leave those who want to kill themselves, who want to slaughter themselves, we leave them quietly filled with, with compassion to their karma, and silently we and our side, we begin to spread the unifying message. Sooner or later the fights will end, either through having suffered enough, life after life, and or hopefully by then coming to the book of light. So there is only one truth, dear friends. That is true. See, the difference between the religions and us is the following. Each religion says, I am the truth, you are wrong. We say you are all right. You all are right. How can that be? 